Hello, I thought I'd do a quick tour of the van so people can see where I'm up to, what I've been doing. Um, so there's the external awning, electric hook up, what have you, event. Um, come on in. We've got um, swivel seats at the front, captain seats, and they turn around so you've got a seating area here. The plan is to have a little table. Got USB plugs there, um, a heating vent down at the front, uh, insulating blinds, just go up and down like so. Um, they just stop wherever you want them to stop. And they're also blackout, which is good. Um, some storage uh, overhead lockers up there, they're gonna have doors on. We're not finished here, you know, still stuff to do. Uh, another Good space locker here. Um, this is for the awning to wind the awning out. There's loads of space in there, you know, suitcase, if not two suitcases in there. This is a control center. So it tells you how much voltage you've got in your battery and your water test. It's empty at the minute. Your boiler, so you can put it on gas or you can have um, 240 uh, volt boiler, so gas or electric. You've got a gas test there. Still loads of gas. You know, I filled that up ages ago. Still lots left. And then we've got a heating dial, which you just put for the the air heating, so it just heats the van. Um, and then here we have a toilet cubicle, which is has a light and an extractor fan. So that's there, and it's just a shower cubicle with a hot and cold shower and a flushing toilet, which is good. This is the timbre door, so I'll turn the extractor off, it's a bit noisy. This is the timbre door, it's just open and closes like that, it gives it a neat finish. Um, oops, forgot to put the steps up. What did you do? And there's another blind on the door, which you can open and close as you wish, insulated. Uh, we've got a gas hob, double gas hob, um, so that's good for cooking. Uh, main light switch, yeah. Uh, sink, we've got a Belfast sink, which this also doubles up as a chopping board. And there's your sink, hot and cold tap. Uh, blackout blind there. Again, still some windowsills and stuff to finish. It'll all be done by the spring, hopefully. And down here we have reading lights, television. Uh, this is just to keep it warm in the winter, it's just a tube here. That's where the television goes. We've got a TV aerial, a uh, 240 volt socket and um, 12 volt socket. There'll be another 240 down there. Bit of a storage area. And then a drink shelf here, butcher's block, same as the kitchen top. Um, again, shower cubicle, LED lights, carbon monoxide detector, which is very important. And then we've got two folding down single beds. There's another one up there for the kids. So uh, this turns into a double, so that pulls out and then cushions become the mattress there and there. And then you've got fold down beds either side with a memory foam mattress which is not on at the minute it's in the garage sleeping bag uh, and they just fasten in with velcro which is great and then the beds just clip up with these little clips like that and they're stored away for traveling uh, extract fan it's got a big fan in there it's got remote control as well so that sucks in and out, so it blows air in or sucks air out, so that's good. Yeah, got a fridge, forgot the fridge, little fridge down here, fridge freezer, keep your beers cold, what have you, that runs on 12 volt, 240 volt and gas. Um, still work to be done on this kitchen, uh, kitchen, so I've got to put some drawers and cupboard, I'm having a cupboard down there, a little wardrobe there. Uh, cupboards up here, uh, cupboards there, 
similar to them and that's it really just thought i'd give you a tour a bit of a quick one but that's it proud of this yeah you know, fair bit of work being put into it um but i can see the finish line so i'm happy and i can't wait for the summer so i can have some decent holidays in it but yeah that's it cheers bye bye